Okay. We have Shufu. She is both she is all these combined, a buster farmer, a multi-core farmer, and an insta-kill farmer. Is she gonna be the best at any one of those individually? Probably not. But she can do all of them. And that in this time of the game, that matters a whole lot more. Versatility, uh, especially like being a buster farmer plus insta-kill farmer, opens up a whole lot of doors. Uh if it wasn't for CL, I actually would like strongly consider using Shufu and like my uh uh insta-kill farming stuff but CL kind of is just gonna do that but better because she can get her MP like so goddamn quick. Shufu has other synergies and that kind of is why I'm you know, why I'm happier to talk about it like CL tomorrow or Sunday it's either tomorrow or Sunday so tomorrow might be a break day for different reviews um, but yeah, base stack, good HP. It's low, but you shouldn't expect high HP from, a, from an Avenger. That's, sh that's just how it is. What sort of designs are cute? Like she's not trying to be sexy. Like she's just supposed to be cute. Um, 0.43 MP gain. Uh, yeah, no, that's fair. These heart arts cards are actually like really good, like five hit arts cards on 0.43. Um, if you crit on these, you're going to get a good amount of refund, but I don't think she actually has crit synergy. No, she does not. Uh, so probably best case scenario, you're like, these are just going to help you charge up for your MP for your multi-core team. Uh, like you just face card before the buster MP or you just wait for other charges all right uh oh yeah here star weight star gen these are normal avenger numbers aka don't expect them to make stars unless you force them like force stars down their throat they shouldn't really be critting in the first place mp charge is five percent but this is a normal avenger <laughs> and she does have the passive to give her increased gain uh, hit counts also are good across the board. It's not just the arts cards. All of them are good. Uh, it's just quick cards going to be weak just because she's an Avenger and not a quick Avenger. All right. First skill, 30% arts, 30% buster, 30% battery on a six turn cooldown. Get uh, to go reloading. This goes down to five and you could double pop it, but I would definitely not advise doing that. Uh, if you try to double pop this skill on turn two, you will pretty much not have a battery for next turn. Uh, you could get away with it with Oberon, but yeah, in single, t in single core farming, that's not going to work because this just doesn't have enough time to ramp up. She gets 10 charge per turn and a 10% battery for the entire party. So if you were to double pop it, it would be 20 per turn, but that's not what Oberon wants. He wants 30 if you're going to do this. So he can come in and like fully charge you up to MP. And waiting to, till turn three to pop this, not going to do anything. Literally, you're going to be at the same point. So this is where multi-core kind of like steps in. Uh, yes this is good for mat wise like you don't have to split your mats between two different skills that you have to max out but on the other hand it does screw you over for buster farming uh that you can't pop your your steroid on turn two like you have to wait to turn three third skill though in skill success rate mp damage uh three times three turns now this you actually would want uh skill cooldown or skill loading to be able to double stack this this you can double stack on turn two which will definitely help the damage um and if you're trying to face card you will be able to do it but you can only get one of these effects now this is where shufu's synergy with uh bitch darkness comes in Bitch Darkness's third skill makes it so anytime she attacks, it's not even with her face cards, 
Anytime she attacks, she applies curse, burn, and dot. I mean, per curse, burn, and poison. All of the dots. That immediately activates this power mod, and then you can't double stack it with Vich Darkness. Uh, this is for multi-core specifically. But then you get a 60% power mod, and if you do it with the MP, that also applies Buster Res down. So it like... And then uh, that also gives Shufu OC uh, if you do it like back to back. So there is there is some really gross synergy here. Uh, Instagill success rate up though, 120%. This pretty much makes it so she is one of the stronger Instagill farmers. Like lower uh, Instagill death rate, she's actually able to do in nodes. Uh, and we'll see later like what those chances are for the higher rates. And whether you need the mystic code that reduces uh insta kill success rate i mean increases and in, reduces insta kill uh resistance there we go okay so he basically the hedonism but it's facade like shufu like it feels like she's obviously not a real avenger uh she's also missing the charge return uh a pen or what is it it's some hate reaction reactor um I, I forget the actual name of it but she has oblivion correction for 12 percent crit damage this is the only crit damage she has in her entire kit so crit's not where she's looking for and considering power mods and mp damage are in the same part of the formula as crit damage it kind of doesn't matter like if you're this loaded on power mods even if it's harder to activate them they're much less likely to actually give you a crit buff just because diminishing return she has the cute passive where she loot lo um ugh, ugh. she has a cute passive where if she attacks consort you she uh her attack is reduced by 20 percent um i don't know if this is for the attack for the whole battle for three turns it doesn't say i'm assuming this is just a built-in passive just like this i was just like always active like the second you target consort you this is gonna activate so if you could get both i would say get both if we're talking buster farming i would mm. okay so this is one of the first times where for normal buster farming it actually i'm trying to think for the comp but it's like you might be able to start with Oberon out and not need this and just go this. Yeah, no, actually you can do that. You can start with Oberon. Um, yeah, okay, so the team comp would be uh, Bitch, Fufu, Oberon in the front, and then Plug Suit Bitch. Um, and this is using this. So you start off with Shufu, you don't have mana loading, 30, uh, another 10, Oberon's first skill, so you're at 60. Uh, Vich, Hopper skills, swap out for another Vich uh, with Buster. Oh, wait. No, 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 why am I even thinking Black Rail? Yeah, no, I don't know why I'm even thinking Black Rail. Uh, yeah. The Oberon in front is more for um, starting from 50. I don't know why I'm thinking uh, Black Rail. Shufu just doesn't. She's lacking another 50. So, yeah. Uh, that, she's going to be able to use Black Rail in multi-core, but for the ease, ease of use, just pick this. If you, like, you don't even need it maxed out with Shufu. You just need it unlocked for her normal farming. Damn, it would have been cool to see her black girl numbers, but I, I just don't, not unless she's actually getting face card refund. Damn. Oh, well. Okay.
Buster, single target MP, nine hits, damage. Yep, damage to one enemy, 80% chance to insta kill them. And if you succeed the insta kill, your whole party gets charisma. Uh, that's gonna be after, obviously. Uh, and then super effective against man attribute enemies. And here's how the insta kill works her base chance is 80. But because she has her own 120% uh, insta kill success rate. Enemies with a 50% chance, 88% chance of insta killing. And if you have the so uh, Soya High School, 108. For a servant, for an insta kill farmer that has as much uh, utility as Shufu that she only needs, uh, if you unlock this a pen for insta kill farming, she only needs 20% battery, and then she's able to MP. Uh, don't know if this gives you 10 if it gives you 10 even better yes you if you're using this mystic code you only need 10 percent battery over the course of three turns to be able to in skill up to a like a 50 percent chance that's really good for insta kill farming like that is such solid utility. If you use Shiki, she only has mana loading and her own uh, 30 battery. So you have to make up the difference of 50. You do not have that problem with Shufu. And also as a little side note, she's a buster insta kill farmer. So even if this was before damage, it kind of doesn't matter because you weren't refunding anyway. The only difference is uh, star gen. So because the insta kill is after damage, you will actually gen stars. If you did insta kill before damage, you just wouldn't gen stars. That's the pretty much only difference with uh, insta kill farming with arts uh, with Buster versus arts and quick. Like no refund whatsoever, but like quick, they're still dependent on stars. Mats. Honestly, pretty tame, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna assume these are 12, and even then, like, they're uh, bronze mats, so even in the Pure Prism shop, they're only one per. Yeah, she only needs two different gold mats, and that, for me, is very, fairly tame. MP damage up 10%, and power mod against mana attribute by 15% while she's on the field. I might actually need to summon for her on my main account. I mean, on my alt account, like specifically one copy of Shufu just to make my insta kill farming life easier. Cause, oh my fucking God, the times, the amount of, it's, I've caught it on stream. The amount of times that I've like had to wait for, ah. <sighs> The amount of times I've had to like face card waves in the storm pod QP no where you actually can do the in insta kill farming, mostly because Shiki didn't have her MP uh, a lot. Now, granted, there are times, a lot of times, that it was because uh, who was it? Um, Needle Chris wasn't getting her over, uh, wasn't insta killing, but because of that. Because that's the reason it's failing, I can actually just switch to a different mystic book. Hey, so just throwing this in here, like in between uh, when I'm searching between the mystic code, um, I completely forgot to actually show Shufu's MP damage. Um, yeah, so this is what it is it, uh, for like hitting super effective. And this is what it is when you hit dots and super effective. So this is what it is if you have Poggin Skaya MP right before Shufu and it this damage doesn't count the Buster Rise and also other buffs that Shufu would be getting in multi-core. Uh, so even Shufu isn't hitting Jolter numbers at MP1, but it doesn't take that much to start surpassing that. Especially like if you only have MP1 Jolter, uh, much like a Reese, uh, MP2 or higher, where Shufu is gonna slowly uh, surpass that. 
even in the lowest case where you don't get where you only get one uh power mod all right i just wanted to add this in uh just so i didn't forget okay well turns out there isn't a better uh option for Fufu other than the in skill ce i was hoping there was an oc one that also had a battery that was separate unfortunately they're the same so if you use double domain for insta kill farming you're good if you only if you use domain and one uh needle chris and your needle chris keeps whiffing it's an oc thing um you could use the mystic code that gives you an overcharge but then instead of only 10 percent you have to look for for shufu you have to look for 20. um and again honestly it's not that bad you just need to get an art just some kind of chain in between and again if Nita Chris doesn't get the in skill you have the first turn to just face card is Shufu someone you should be summoning for uh if you're only looking for an insta kill farmer probably not uh if you also plan on getting CL uh Shufu is a nice consolation prize I think I just think uh Shufu just has just a good amount of versatility. Uh she's good in multi-core, she's good in single core and insta kill farming. Like she's maybe not be be AoE, but she definitely has like farming utility. Uh for for her CQ potential, I don't see it that much. You're not going to be insta killing uh, she doesn't have hard survivability. Uh, yeah, like even though she's not AOE, this is this to me is a farmer's kit, which I'm glad they're we're trying different things now. I'm glad it's not dot JPEG. This servant does the same thing as every other servant that's come out. Like they have definitely been getting more creative with the designs this year, and I'm happy for it. Um, all right. That's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.